four, three, two, one. Welcome. I am sitting here with Kate and Laura Malibi, who make up Rodarte. My heroes are Einstein. I have to think about that one. That's tough. My idea of perfect happiness is mm, Stanley Kubrick films. Hanging out with my friends and doing something fun that I didn't expect to do that day. Let's go back to the beginning. You guys grew up in Santa Cruz, and then you made your way to Pasadena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You went to Berkeley first. Yeah. And then uh, Laura followed. Mm -hmm. There was no fashion design course at our school, but definitely we were interested in it. And so we decided to take a costume design class, and mm -hmm. it was for theater. And they gave us all the old Vogues from the 70s to cut up. And um, Kate and I were like, mm, we can't cut these up, so we stole them. Every day Every we would day carry we'd like, take them, we'd carry them down Telegraph Avenue like this big stack of mm -hmm. magazines. Those magazines weighed a lot, and I was like, well, if we took all that effort to save these yeah. 1970s yeah. Vogues, clearly we're obsessed with like right. fashion. Yeah. You then graduated. You spent a year watching horror movies. Yeah, right? that's true. That's Pretty much. Very true. And you decide to make a collection, and one of those dresses out of your first collection now hangs in the Costume Institute at the Met. Our, Our first, first runway, runway show. show. First runway show. Yeah, so it was a, a season and a half later. <laughs> yeah. A season and a half later, yeah. you end up in the Met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember actually saying to Laura after we finished that particular piece, I said, well, I, I really know the kind of designers we're going to be. It's going to be a, a harder path for us because we really like things that are detailed mm -hmm. and we will do things like this. What was interesting to me was that that was the piece that um, the curators had picked up on mm -hmm. because it had so much meaning for me personally. And yeah. then you got a slew of awards and Anna Winters in there kind of anointing you guys. But what I really want to talk about mm -hmm. is that why do we love certain people? Because I right. know you guys have your own muses, yeah. Yeah. like Elle Fanning or Kirsten. I think as we evolved, the more and more for us, it was more about, I think, really being interested in people that were doing really interesting things. Like Kirsten's a perfect example of that. She is just so open, and I think she finds things she loves, and she has very unique and amazing taste. And she just, it's innate. Like, we could literally give her anything to wear, and she would look amazing. So yeah. it's not really that hard. It's mm -hmm. just that it's fun because she's so talented and awesome. Yeah. Do you think you could design something for Vin? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right. I mean, he'd be the most fun to design for because he makes movies like Chronicles of Riddick. Or even something like, you know, Fast and the Furious. You remember the things that the characters kind of mm -hmm. wear as their signature. Yeah, you could mm -hmm. remake his cross. Yeah. Tell me about the new collection that comes out this fall, which is really spring 2014. How does it work? Yeah, spring 2014 is a show we'll have in September. But we can't talk about it right now because it's a secret. Oh, it is a secret. Okay. Well, cause only because we just can't even go there because we don't even know what it's about yet. <laughs> but you really, it's like cramming for exams. I mean, oh, you guys yeah. really do this all in a matter of months. Yeah, nothing's really even put together, I think, barely at this point. It's like between now and the show where everything's done. There's not necessarily just this collection is this, there's just a lot of ideas. It's like you need to just do it and tell the story, however abstract it is, and then look at it. and kind of think about it so well it seems like it could be exhausting because as soon as you're done you have to start another collection mm -hmm. and then there's yeah. like resort and then fall the nature of fashion is that it's about this thing that's constantly changing and evolving and mm -hmm. you can only rely on what you did last yeah. you know and, but I think of it in a different way I kind of think of it as it's just you know all part of a larger picture and so for me it's like whether the things are loved more or not liked. It's all leading to an evolution of design and I think about how all the things come together. So at the end, after like you know, 20 years of making things, what does it really say? I consider my greatest achievement to be, um, well, I would say something cheesy is learning to be my own person um, and trusting my gut. I don't know if that counts as an achievement, but I'll <laughs> say that. You didn't do your hero. Okay. Well, my heroes would be my parents then. So now I'm going to look like the yeah, jerk because I picked Einstein no, and I also didn't pick hanging out with my friends. But <laughs> we're equal. Our, okay, our cool. answers count for both of us. 